Life's a lot like a painting. They're, well, namely an abstract painting, such as this one. Because there's so much put into it, so much thought, so much emotion, and everything that you do collectively paints one picture. All the ideas, everything you've done, everything that people have seen you do, it just creates something so very cohesive and fun for people to look at, depending on how they interpret it. To be honest, life isn't always fun. It really isn't. Like this, like any video assignment I've had in the past, like public speaking, that, that sucked too. A lot of things in the past I've done just sucked. They sucked really badly. But then there's things that I have enjoyed. Like watching this movie right here, Ponyo. But to be honest, a couple of friends told me about it. And I was thinking, alright, seems legit. <laughs> so, I watched it, and even though it's a children's movie, I really like it. Same with Spirited Away. Oh, I actually got into watching Ponyo because I saw Spirited Away first. But, uh, things that you do influences other people. People base their paintings off of what you do. Sometimes. I painted my hand. Some t so I bet some sometime one of you all watching will paint your hand. But there's different ways that people paint their life. This is how I would imagine to be my painting. I paint to try to fill in as much as I can in one area and potentially have some white marks around or within it a very little bit though. And where there is paint, I try to fill it in completely. And it, but someone else might paint more akin to this. It all depends on who the artist is. This is one of my biggest works. And I had probably about 70 different thoughts coming into my mind when I painted this. But still... Everything that you do paints a certain picture, and I call that picture life. So, everything that I've done so far, I would imagine, would be able to paint probably one of the walls in the room that I'm recording in right now. And to give you an estimate, it's probably, it's one of the shorter walls is probably about eh, 10 feet, maybe. It's probably be enough to cover one of those shorter walls. I wouldn't say one of the longer ones. How much could you fill up? How, mu how much wall could you fill up from top to bottom with the events of your life if you could paint them all? Me, I would only paint the ones that I see are meant worth sharing. Not all of them are good. Some of them are things that I've learned. You shouldn't let past experiences eat you up, though, but at the same time, you don't need to forget them. You need to remember them and learn from them. That's why people say that. You said that failure gives you experience. Failure is more important than success because now you know what not to do rather than what to do. You don't know. You know what doesn't work. You know you don't know what does work. And if you know what does work, you stay with that, and you don't gain anything, because more than one solution could be possible. There is multiple ways to get four. It's not two, it's not just two plus two, there's one plus three, four plus zero, two times two, two squared, eight divided by two, the square root of sixteen. There's not just one way to get a specific answer. I have learned from failures exactly what not to do. So what have you all learned throughout your time here? I've been trying my best to not procrastinate, but here I am procrastinating again. But I'm not procrastinating as badly as I have been. I've been staying ahead in almost everything. And by almost everything, the only thing I haven't stayed ahead in is this.
but that's just life. You make mistakes and you learn from them. The human brain isn't perfect yet, and it never will be. Ha ha ha! So how would you paint your picture? <laughs>